In this tutorial, we'll be going over the background to Hess's Law. And so Hess's Law is uh, being able to add several elementary reactions to get, a, to get a third reaction. And the reason you could do this is because enthalpy is a state function, and it doesn't matter what pathway that you, that you take. So it doesn't matter if you add 100 reactions or two reactions to try to obtain a final reaction. Uh, all that matters is the, the beginning enthalpy state it, and the difference between the end enthalpy state and the beginning enthalpy state of the products and reactants. That's the only thing that matters. That's what a state function means. So it doesn't matter how many reactions happen uh, in between. So it doesn't, it's independent of the pathway. So first off, we have to define what enthalpy of reaction versus enthalpy versus enthalpy of a reaction with a uh, with a degree symbol. The degree symbol specifies the reaction was measured under the following conditions. So these are standard state conditions. So what happened is chemists want a way to tabulate uh, enthalpy data. And so you, you can't have like five different reactions. Say you want to make a data table of standardized enthalpy of reactions. You can't do them under five different types of conditions. You have to agree on a set standard set of conditions and then do all the reactions with this with the variables um, all at the same state so these are called standard state okay these the following so the pressure has to be one bar which is 0.987 atm just to give you a point of reference that's basically that's basically sea level sea level is just under one atmosphere okay the temperature is at 25 degrees celsius and the solutions are all at one molar. So for example, a very brief example. So let's say you wanted to measure uh, the um, enthalpy change associated with the dissolving of sodium hydroxide ions. Say you wanted to measure that. And let's say you did it under, under conditions that weren't quite uh, standard. Let's say, you, let's say it was a little bit the temperature was like 26 degrees Celsius. Okay, then you might uh, enthalpy of the reaction. There would be no degree symbol. Okay, because it's done at 26 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then let's say that number is like negative 46 uh, kilojoules per mole. Okay, and let's say you measured, did the same reaction, but you did it under standard conditions. Okay, you ensured that all the conditions were standard. And your value will agree, should agree exactly with, uh, exactly with uh, tabulated data. So if you go in the back of your book, it's in the appendix. All all college chemistry books have uh, tabulated thermodynamic data for certain uh, certain processes. Actually, the the numbers they give in your book are actually called heats of formation, I believe. Um, but if you Google this number, okay, you'll find like the actual value. Okay, un that's done under these standard conditions. Okay, so it's it's, it's actually negative forty-four. So you'll, so this is with the degree symbol. Okay, and so that means that these are the conditions that it was done under. Okay, next slide. Uh, so uh, this is Hess's law. The the enthalpy, uh, the standard enthalpy of reactions are additive. So, and what I said at the beginning of this tutorial was that it's, this is possible because enthalpy is a state function. So this is best um, observed when you look at an enthalpy diagram. So if you have uh, the following two reactions, okay, let's say you have um, this reaction, okay, nitrogen plus oxygen makes nitrogen monoxide. Okay, this happens to be really unstable, okay, and it quickly finds uh, another nitrogen monoxide, and so this is really unstable. So this is called a uh, this is called a uh, intermediate. Notice that it's the product of the first reaction, and it's actually a reactant on the on the subsequent reaction. So this is really unstable. Quickly finds another oxygen and becomes uh, nitrogen dioxide. Um, so if you add one and two, you could obtain a third reaction. If you add these two, um, add by adding, I mean any intermediates that are the same after. Um, and if you have a product on one and a reactant on on a subsequent step, they actually cancel out. Okay, so this this is actually not even part of the third reaction. Okay, so if you add um, if you add these two enthalpies, okay, you'll get 
a positive 68 kilojoules. Okay, and and if and that means you can add the actual reactions as well. Okay, and then you'll actually get this reaction. So it's kind of like uh, if you have the N2 plus O2 and it makes two nitrogen monoxides. Okay, this is on the product here and it's on the reactant on the next step. So you could actually cancel those out. Um, and then if you add up all of this, so if you add up, if you add up all of these, then you'll get one nitrogen. And uh, this, this uh, should actually say two moles of oxygen here. Okay, and then two moles of NO2. Okay, so if you add up all the reactants, then you get this right here. Okay, and then if you add up all of the products, okay, we, we only have one in this case, then it should equal what you have here. So you combine the two reactions, and then you combine the two enthalpies. You could actually add those together. So this number is from, okay, this number is from uh, 180 plus a negative 112. Okay, so, um, and that's, uh, that's Hess, Hess's law. The enthalpy of a reaction, of like some, like, third reaction, we'll just say it's a third reaction, is the sum of um, the enthalpy of the elementary reactions of, like, 1 plus enthalpy of a second. Okay, and I'll write plus dot 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 because the, you could you could add up to as many as you want. Okay, that that if they're related. Okay, so I've seen these where there's like six reactions involved, and the enthalpy of the seventh reaction is the sum of all the previous six. So that's how this number is uh, obtained. Okay, and this enthalpy diagram is showing uh, just the enthalpy change for all the processes. So this one is the first reaction. That's this right here. Okay, and uh, this right here, the, this enthalpy 2 here, is actually this this amount right here. So it went up, and then this enthalpy change is negative. Okay, and then the enthalpy change, if you add this and this, you'll get the enthalpy change of this reaction, the third one. And that's Hess's law. A couple of key properties in Hess's law. Okay, so next slide. There's a couple key properties for Hess's law. So uh, you can, there, uh, you can multiply a coefficient times Hess's law. So there's a few things to do to manipulate. These are uh, two properties of Hess's law. So this is for uh, manipulating the, um, we'll call them the, uh, the uh, elementary reactions. To, in order to try to obtain a, a third reaction of interest. Okay, so there's a few things you could do to like change the uh, the reactions. You can multiply a coefficient. So for example, um, for example, let's say you have the following reaction: two NO two. Is actually the reverse of what I had on the previous slide. It makes two O two. Okay, and the enthalpy change here is negative sixty-eight kilojoules. Okay, if let's say you had to multiply this by four in order to make it match the third reaction, and this is better explained when we look at an example. Okay, so if I if I mul I could I can multiply these by four if I need to. When do you need to? It's better when I when I do an example to explain that. So if you multiply each coefficient by 4, then you'll get 8 here, uh, 4n2s, and 8 o2s. Okay, this, this 4 also multiplies this right here. So if this happens 4 times this, then, then the heat change should also be 4 times 68, which is uh, 272, negative 272 kilojoules. Okay, and you could also reverse reactions. So reversing a reaction changes the sign of uh, the uh, enthalpy. So if I if I just use the example that I've been using on the last two slides, um, notice I actually did that on this example actually. So um, this is a positive sixty-eight. 
Okay, and if I just if I just uh flip this around, so I write this as a reactant, so two NO two, and then I show the reactants as products here. So that's what I mean by reversing the reaction. Then the delta H here would you just change the sign for enthalpy, and then you get that. Okay, so in the uh, next tutorial, I'll be doing a, an example problem, which will be uh, part two for Hess's law.